Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. I'm very excited because today we're on a mission. We need to find out if you actually need anything more than a GR Yaris to fulfill your supercar needs. So stay till the very end to find out. Before we start the review, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like, comment on our videos, check out the other stuff. Let's begin with the exterior. Let's start with the coolest thing about the GR Yaris and it's how it came to life. Well, basically the only reason why we have this Toyota GR Yaris is because Toyota wanted to race on the WRC Rally Championship. That's it. And the rules say if you want to race on the VRC Rally Championship, you have to have at least two and a half thousand units of a production car. And that's the reason why we have it today. Absolutely brilliant. And boy, they did an incredible job. Let me take you through the design elements. So at the front it begins. What do we have here? Well, we have a massive intercooler be behind those gitters here. That is cooling this massive engine that we're going to talk about later. Then we have this air ducts here to cool the brakes because this is a performance car. The brake calipers, by the way, are sports brakes. We have 356 millimeters in the front and 294 millimeters in the back. What is also very interesting is the car is six centimeters wider than a normal Yaris and it's five and a half centimeters longer. We have a fantastic fender here, for example, and in the front widened the car and something special here also is the car is a two door car. If you know the normal Yaris, you know that it's a four-door small little hatchback and this coupe is only available on the Yaris, GR Yaris, to make it homologated for the rally rules. Absolutely fantastic. This one has been tuned a little more, but we'll talk about that a little later. I like the spoiler here. What I also like is the wide back. Look at that rear end, man. Two exhaust pipes, a small diffuser here, not doing anything basically, but it looks cool. And a cool space here. Let me show you the luggage compartment on that car. Well, as you can see, you can actually store a lot of things in here because they rip basically off everything. Otherwise, you would just have a small little luggage here and of course the back seats, but this one hasn't. But we're going to talk about the tuning elements on the car a little later. Let's hop to the front and show you the engine. That is very special also. Let me pop the hood and show you what the engine is all about on the Toyota GR Yaris because that is the best thing about the car actually. So for that open the hood and put it here so we can actually look at it. As you can see it's a very small engine, it's an inline 3 cylinder turbocharged engine, 1.6 liter, producing 260 horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque, able to accelerate the car from 0 to 100 in 5.3 seconds and tops out at 230 kph. Not because the engine could, couldn't run more, because the gear ratio stops at 230. Very funny. Now, have a listen. So let me take you through what the owner has done to make the car perform even better. By the way, the lender of this car is SS Performance, which is a car rental and a partner of us. We work with them and you can actually rent this car if you want to drive it in Switzerland. Make sure to write me if you want. So let's talk about the adaptions and tuning that they have actually done. Starting at the front, we have this Advan Racing Sport Yokohama wheel here, plus we have an H&R suspension in the front and back. The wheels at the front are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, and for the people that know it, this is one of the best tires you can get for driving fast. Then you come to the back, you have this little spoiler here, of course, for a little bit more downforce, and the Miltec exhaust pipe. Very, very good. It's basically the whole exhaust by Miltec. Very nice. But then something important is the interior. <laughs> Let's continue there. That is very, very interesting. The insanity continues. So everything in terms of technology stayed the same. The analog speedometer, the infotainment system, but what they have changed is the appearance, the look. You notice a lot of Alcantara here on the front dashboard, for example. 
This is aftermarket. The door has Alcantara with competition written on it, also uh, aftermarket. You notice this incredible bucket seat from Recaro, Gazoo Racing, team stitching on there, also aftermarket. Then we have this short shifter here that has incredible short shifts. By the way, make sure to check out our review on the car, our driving's review, where I display the capacities of this machine. Link in the description. Then let's go on. I mean, they, they really did an incredible job. They put Alcantara here on the front, on the dashboard. They made it just appear a little bit more beautiful. The leather is standard on the GR Yaris here, the leather wrapped steering wheel, that is cool. And you feel very, very good inside here. And you might notice when looking back, there's no back seat. Back seat elite. They put a strut bar in the back out of carbon fiber to make the car more stable and more rigid. Absolutely fantastic job. And you might notice this screen here, there are no air vents in the middle because they removed it. They put the screen a little bit more down so you can actually see the road. I mean, fantastic, fantastic job. Which means, by the way, that it costs a lot more than a normal Yaris. 80,000 Swiss francs for the whole Yaris plus the build. Absolutely crazy. And that's as far as we can take you to the exterior and interior view of this tuned GR Yaris. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, Check out the driving experience, check out the POV and see you on the next one. Goodbye.